There's an old saying, you don't have to love prospecting, you just have to do it. <laughs> well, we said we love to do everything that was part of our job every single day, but I can't think of any job that is 100% enjoyable. The fact of the matter is, prospecting is one of those things that not too many people like to do. Show me somebody who says they love it, I think they probably haven't done much. Chances are I'll show you somebody that's actually never made a cold call. <laughs> Who loves to talk to a complete stranger? Who wants to interrupt somebody's day and ask for or beg for an appointment? Who wants to call somebody out of the blue and be rejected? So but prospecting is the lifeblood of our business. If we're not getting new customers or new conversations, we'll probably not be in business. So social media has made it a little easier. LinkedIn, there are other venues and that's great. The fact is that you're going to have to prospect and you have to do it. So if you're waiting for the day that you love it, that may not come. So just tell yourself, hey, I don't love it. I get it. I'm acknowledging it, but I got to do it. I've got to be good at it. So what can you do? Well, first, you expect a no. So don't look for a yes because the chances are it could be nine out of ten times you get a no, but it's that one yes. Then you're used to, you know, used to saying, look, I hate prospecting. It's like, it's, it's, it's horrible, but I know that for every ten, I'll get one. I'll get a yes and we'll have a conversation and perhaps a new customer. That seems manageable. So I find it was actually okay when somebody said I have no interest. So check. That's one down, one closer. So you know, I kind of played that game. But I also started calling my prospecting calls curiosity calls. It was just something to, you know, in my subconscious. I'm a curious guy. I like to ask questions. I'm a little bit nosy. So a curiosity call was just wondering whether we should have a conversation. And that was easier for me. So I don't look at it as, you know, what are the things I have to do? I broke it down and said, if I make 10 calls a day, 50 calls a week over a year, I've got all the new customers I need, plenty of conversations. I don't know what your numbers are, but start keeping track. Figure out your average. How many calls a day do you have to, to make to get the number of conversations you need to make the money that you've set out as your goal for this year? So I've got to do X over here. So we call it a cookbook. What I did is I manage my daily behaviors when it comes to prospecting. And I do those first. So if it's 10 calls or 20 calls or 5 calls, 10 calls and 5 emails or whatever that combination is that gets me to my goal. So, so I know I need a, a yes every so often and that's something that I could control. I can't control who says yes or when. I can uh, control my 10 calls or my 20 calls. So... That became really manageable, and I hope it does for you too. And even better, I don't even need 20 yeses. I actually need 18 noes. <laughs> that made it even easier. So kind of a unique, maybe interesting, maybe funny way of looking at it. So when you wake up every morning, there's no perfect day for prospecting. But if you do a little bit each day, it's manageable. And that's what it means to you don't have to love it. You just have to do it. There you have it. See you next time.